So the victory ceremony, next one is the biathlon men's 7.5 kilometer sitting event. Of course, it uh, will be another celebration, big celebration, I believe, for Russia here, Roman Kotushkov, together with Ukraine's Maxim Yerovi and Kozo. Please welcome the medalist for the biathlon men's 7.5 kilometers sitting. Приветствуем медалистов по биатлону. Семь с половиной километров. Мужчины в классе сидя. So the medal is led in by Japan's Koso Kubo. And of course, a hugely popular victor here. They went up to the Laura Cross Country Ski and Biathlon Center, just a little bit down the valley and up to the right a little bit. It's a uh, most magnificent space. Of course, you probably noticed that there's not much snow on the vegetation, the trees and so on around. But uh, a few days ago, a couple of weeks actually, they had a magnificent snowfall here that covered everything in white and it was perfect for cross-country skiing well the biathlon now will be recognized the and will be presented Dmitry by Chernyshenko. Mr. Dmitry Chernyshenko, president of the Sochi 2014 organizing committee accompanied by Mr. Mikhail Tarantiv member of the Sochi 2014 supervisory board Mr. Tarantiv as well господин Дмитрий Чернышенко Президент Организационного комитета Сочи 2014 в сопровождении господина Михаила Терентьева, заместителя председателя Комитета Государственной Думы по труду, социальной политике и делам ветеранов. Bronze medalist representing Japan. Бронзовый призер, представитель Японии. Коза Кубо! Kozo Kubo achieves a medal at last. He was fifth and seventh in Vancouver. He has held a bronze medal position in World Championships on two occasions. This is the first time he's achieved it in the Paralympic Winter Games. And that is a great source of pride the man from Abishiri in Japan. Competes also in wheelchair racing, para biathlon, of course. The bronze medal, the Japanese Silver will be celebrating that. Representing Ukraine, серебряный призер, представитель Украины, Maxim Maxim Yarovye is the silver medalist in the biathlon men's 7.5 kilometer sitting event. Nikolaev is his hometown in Ukraine. He has not managed to achieve a podium finish before in a world championship. So this is huge. A really impressive support here in Rosa Kator. medalist and Paralympic champion representing Russian Federation. Золотую медаль и звание чемпиона Паралимпийских игр завоевал представитель России Роман Петушков. Roman Petushkov is the Olympic champion, a bigger pardon, Paralympic champion. He absolutely flew away the opposition. He won by over eight seconds with a great performance. No missed shots, 
and he just kept piling on the pressure. After 2.5 kilometers, he was second. And then after five, he moved up to take over the, the first position and never let it be in doubt that he was going to hold on to it. Great champion, great performance. And just listen to the crowd appreciate what he has achieved Ladies and, and what they now the celebrate. of Russian Federation, Dame Gospoda, звучит государственный гимн России. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paralympic medalists. Дамы и господа, победитель и призеры Паралимпийских игр. Well, there was a huge smile of satisfaction on the face of Roman Patushkov right there. But the 36-year-old, I'm sure, inside will be bubbling, bubbling with excitement because that was a fabulous, fabulous achievement to take the gold medal. He won the silver medal in Vancouver in the 15 kilometer city. So to pick it up the gold medal in the shorter version is an extraordinary achievement. What a moment for the man from Moscow to be able to celebrate for many, many years to come. The International Paralympic Committee Athlete of the Month in January 2012 and in February 2013. He holds the national sports title of Honored Master of Sport in Russia. Decorated in 2010 with the Medal of the Order of Merit for the Fatherland. So everyone was looking to him to provide this wonderful, wonderful achievement. He has delivered right on expectation. A great, great moment for Roman Matushkov and Russia. Right 